Sustainability in the construction industry is multidimensional. Economic, economic and social aspects must be taken into account. All aspects are interwoven and are highlighted in this learning unit. Greenhouse gas emissions are an important, but not the only sustainability criterion. Durability, health safety and resilience play a major role in the choice of building materials and construction. The possibility of reuse and recycling must also be taken into careful consideration. Ensuring flexible future use can also promote long building life. So, the consideration of sustainability principles must be an integral part of all planning and decision-making processes during the life cycle of a building. Taking into account the resource problem, the economical use of resources is becoming more important. Some important objectives for sustainability in the construction trade are Responsible handling of building materials Responsible use of water Responsible use of energy Responsible use of the building land and nature These objectives are part of the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals Under Sustainability Criteria the life cycle costs of a building are roughly broken down as follows Production costs Use of building costs Cleaning, care and maintenance Replacement investment Demolition costs Costs for deconstruction and disposal Under sustainability criteria The planning phase is of considerable importance the planning phase is just as decisive for the properties of the building. Some basic approaches can be distinguished when planning sustainability. First approach, comparison of construction costs and construction time. For example, the construction of a kindergarten in solid or timber construction. Second approach, comparison of maintenance costs, for example, the total costs of various construction methods over an 80-year lifetime. Third approach, lifetime of building components. Fourth approach, recycling options and waste production, for example, reuse of wood or mineral building materials. Fifth approach, greenhouse gas emissions and other unquantifiable costs, for example, in the production process and maintenance of building materials. In addition to the quantitative aspects, there are also non-formal points to consider. All survey participants stated that in their opinion there is hardly anything more sustainable than the conservation of existing buildings. Not only production and construction are relevant for sustainability, but also demolition and disposal or the possible further use of building components and materials. Land consumption and material transport also play a major role in terms of sustainability. When planning and detailing buildings, materials that occur in large quantities are particularly important. The energy consumption of a building is also determined by a multitude of influences in the design. Some important influencing factors are Compactness and zoning of the building design Thermal insulation of the building shell Air tightness of the building shell Energy efficiency of cooling and heat generation Behavior of the people living in the building with regard to room temperatures, air exchange, hot water consumption, passive solar energy use, size of internal heat gains, operating mode of the system technology. Sustainability does not only refer to the choice of building materials, Nevertheless, there is a considerable difference between using brick, concrete or wood. So-called ancillary building materials such as insulation, floor and wall coverings or sanitary objects should also not be neglected from a sustainability perspective. It is always worth comparing the positive and negative properties of individual building materials.